crush. Uh, crushes are a, a difficult thing, especially when you're an adult. Uh, it's bad enough when you're a child, but even worse when you're an adult. Mm -hmm. uh, questions about guys and girls with crushes and the use of pheromones. This is again one of the three categories that are the worst is getting back an ex. This is where pheromones don't work well. Getting back an ex, um, fixing a broken relationship, or attracting a crush. Uh, I really, it's, it's worth a try. Sometimes it does work, but most of the time it doesn't. I, I think as a, as a, as a male especially, you are really <clears throat> wasting your time and reducing your opportunities when you entertain a crush. Because while you are microscopically focused on that one girl, you have thousands of other girls moving around you mm -hmm. at all times, and a certain number of them statistically are going to like you. So you're really selling yourself short by focusing on a crush. The crush may or may not like you. Sometimes they're weirded out by you. Sometimes they don't know you exist. Sometimes they like you too. That's why you feel the feeling that you feel. But but I think I think you're you're when you're when you're that focused on one person, you really are missing the big picture and missing other opportunities. Pharaoh in general needs a, the broad audience. Yeah, that's, it, what, that's what it's designed to begin with. Yeah, it's a statistical advantage. Mm -hmm. uh, certain, uh, a certain number of girls, you say, say out of 100, so you've got out of 100, five are going to like you with or without pheromones. Five of the other end of the 100 are going to hate you with or without pheromones, and everybody in between is somewhere on that graph. And when you wear pheromones, suddenly it ups you on the, on the end of like. So instead of five, maybe you have now 10 or 15. Well, that's, that's, that jumps you from 5% to 10 or 15% out of that 100 that are now going to like you. That five on the end that hate you, they're still gonna hate you, just because you're you. Mm -hmm. You're never going to impress them or attract them using pheromones. Could be just because being Japanese, or Possibly. could be has a beard, I, mean, I don't know. Could be bald. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, that's, what are you gonna do about that? Yeah, why fight it? Don't, don't worry about the ones who aren't interested, the ones who don't care. Mm -hmm. Focus on the ones that do. And the other thing is that um, this, it's very important. A lot of time people have a crush, you know, you're being friend with long time. That's, you get stuck in the friend zone. A lot of times the crush you, is If you are stuck in the friend zone for a couple of years, it, it's really hard. Um, she it's hard to get yourself out of it. Exactly. She it sucks to be in it too, but it's hard. To, the, the, the fantasy that you are someday going to pull out of it is pretty much that. It's a fantasy. You have to have to do something drastic. Um, you know, you might could really pull out. Yeah. Disappear for a few years, go to war in Iraq, come back a different person. That might do it. Get a few scar. Mm -hmm. Probably might might help. Actually, you. actually change who you are on the inside. That'll do it. Yeah, exactly. You become I a cage mean, fighter. Oh man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that that would do it. Yeah, exactly. You got it. Get bald. Go. Yeah. Go bald, or if you're already bald, grow hair. <laughs> Unless you can't, then you gotta wear a wig. <laughs> Don't be Japanese. <laughs> Don't be Japanese. <laughs> the point is. You don't know how foolish you look to the rest of the world <laughs> when you have a crush. Yeah. Pull your head out of your butt or her butt. Quit freaking her out. Quit worrying about her. Focus on the bigger picture. Focus on the big wide world. Work on improving yourself. Those ones that do like you, those ones that are on this end, with the enhancement of the pheromones, they are going to come to you. You're going to have a better life. You're going to have better odds. Don't just focus on this one losing point. And if you pull out and focus on this bigger picture, there's a chance your crush may pay more attention to you. Mm -hmm. Especially if you are in the friend zone and you're already yep. following her around and trying to please her in every way. That if you, you become do. just a lot more attractive person, then you don't need her anymore. You gotta Unfortunately. Understand, you gotta understand that when he's talking about attraction, he's not talking about um, changing your looks, although you can change how you mm -hmm. dress and your cleanliness. But he's talking about what is attracted to a woman. And what attra is attracted to a woman is how you make her feel. Mm -hmm. Who you are as a man is what's attracted to a woman. So that's, that's sort of another topic. But it's important to be aware that there is a difference between the way 
uh, between uh, what a man finds attractive and what a woman finds attractive. We just assume as men that it's going to be the same thing. We, we mm -hmm. see a nice shape, so we assume that if a woman sees a nice shape, they're going to be equally attractive, attracted as we are. Um, but it's very different. What attracts women is very yeah. different than what attracts men. Yeah. So work on yourself, improve yourself as always. Um, I think that about covers that. Thanks, guys. <laughs>